Hi people, T is here, just doing my preview for our Premier League game against Crystal Palace, um, which will be away at Selhurst Park. Um, of course, you know, we're currently on a, a run of good form, you know, uh, 11 wins in a row. And of course, if we win this game, this will take up to 12 wins in a row. Um, Crystal Palace, not doing so well, but they will provide like a, a tough challenge. And, you know, they're not going to be a team... That I expect to roll over so I do think it'll be a relatively close game um, and again with it being away from home uh, I feel the game will be relatively quite tight and the overall score prediction I'm going for this is 2-1 um, I'm going to just get straight into my starting 11 um, in goal it's going to be Ben Leno um, you know I know Czech's now apparently back from injury but I feel Leno's been doing well so there'll be no reason to take him out um, at right back, Hector Bellerin, um, you know, he's been doing the job. He's been a man in form of recent. So, again, no reason to currently take him out. Um, the two centre-halves, obviously, Socrates came back against Sporting Lisbon. And, you know, it's really a toss-up of who, who should be the starting two um, for this game. For this particular game, I'm actually going to go with Socrates and Mustafi. I know that Holden's been playing well. Um, but I feel that this will, these two um, may just deal with some of the defensive duties a bit better in this game. That's not to like dislodge Holding because I thought he's played really well. But for this game, I'm going to go with Mustafi and Socrates uh, in centre half. At left back, um, both Monreal and Kalasinac, um, from what Emery said, is going to decide after training on Saturday to see whether any of them are, you know either fit to start the game or probably be on the bench. So, of course, if, if either of those two are, are fit enough to start the game, then I've got to do either Monreal, Kolasinac, whichever one's fit. If not, at left-back probably would be our new, you know, interim left-back, which is Granit Xhaka. Who knows, maybe Lichsteiner goes in there, but Xhaka's looked decent there the last couple of games. But um, at the same time, this this isn't really a game. I don't think Xhaka should go in at left back because you know he'll be he'll be up against you know some players that are quite uh, threatening on the attack and you know a couple of pacey players. So who knows what Emery goes with? But you know, ideally, hopefully, Monreal Kolasinac is fit. Um, of course, if either Monreal Kolasinac is fit or if Emery decides to go with Lichtenstein at left back, um, then of course the midfield two for myself would be. Um, Torreira and Xhaka but of course if Xhaka slots in at left back then it'd be Torreira and Guendouzi who especially Guendouzi I thought he had an excellent game against Sport in Lisbon um, going into the, the attacking players now in that number 10 roles the main man the you know the man of the match on the other night Meza Ozil um, well although he didn't actually get awarded a man of the match but you know he had a great performance against Leicester and, you know, again, this is a position he needs to play in the 10 role to get the best out of him. Um, on the left-hand side, go with Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. I know some people are saying he, he's a bit wasted out there on the left. And, you know, was it the previous game, he came off the bench. But personally, I would want to start him in this game. So that's what I'd be doing, starting him off the left-hand side. Off the right-hand side, I'd be going with Alex Iwobi. Again, a player that's improved so much under the new manager. And, you know... Um, long may this good run of form continue from him and up top I'd be going with Lacazette of course you know the main man both well, well, him both him and Abba but you know this Lacazette's another one as well that this season he, he's his form his body language everything he seems like he's adapted to the Premier he seems up for the fight more he just seems up up to it more in general maybe he's more motivated now under you know the new coaching set up and stuff but you know, I definitely feel that the team that goes out there on Sunday, you know, is capable of getting a job. And, you know, I expect us to to come back with all three points. But, you know, it could be a tight game, so we'll have to see how it pans out. Um, you can let me know in the comment section below your thoughts for Sunday's game against Crystal Palace. Um, you can leave me your score predictions and your starting 11 in the comment section below. Um, if you're new to the channel, subscribe and I'll catch you later.